I'm doing a really cool video for you tonight. I am comparing and contrasting mature male and female Monocentropus balfouri, which I believe is also known as the Socotra Island Blue Baboon. I have the female on this side, and you can see how beautiful she is. She is a mature female, so they are a, I would say, medium-sized species. Move her away from the wall for you there. Now, obviously, they are called the blue baboon because of this blue coloration on the legs. And I like them because even without full-spectrum light, they still just have that really nice charcoal gray, but then when they are in full spectrum light, you can see that they are truly a nice bronzy brown and a beautiful metallic blue. So there is the female. On this side I have the male. Hopefully my light and camera are doing him justice. He is brilliantly blue. One distinction between the male and the female is that he is quite a bit brighter. They're both incredibly beautiful, but he's just much brighter. I tend to think that they have a smoother, that their hair lays a little bit smoother and that the females are a bit fluffier, but that's just my personal opinion. I've not read that that's documented. That's just what I have seen in my personal experience. He's a little bit more spindly. She's a little bit fuller bodied, but both incredible specimens of the Monocentropus balfouri. He is a uh, mature male, so he does have the visible uh, pedipalpal bulbs, which the females do not have. In this species, the male does not possess a tibial spur, so that doesn't help you tell the difference between a male and female. Although they're not distinctly sexually dimorphic, there are some subtle differences. But they are incredible, and I absolutely love keeping this species. I hope you enjoyed Monocetropus balfouri. Keep your eyes out for a breeding video here before long, and I will see you guys soon.